All right guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and in today's video, I'll be showing you some basic spraying techniques on spraying polycarbonate bodies for RC. Also a couple of tips and tricks when using Pactra's metallic line of paints. So in today's video, we're gonna be painting up this Axial Racing Score Yeti Trophy Truck body. Now, in this video, we'll be showing you some tips and tricks on spraying techniques. Also, some cool things that you can do with Pactra's metallic line of paints, specifically their metallic blue here, one of my favorite colors here at the RC Networks. So now, before you start painting, make sure that your body is fully prepped. You wanna make sure that it is completely pre-trimmed pre-washed and tape off any areas that you don't want the original color to show. This particular body came with window masks, so I went ahead and taped those on the underside of the body. And I also taped off a section where I want a different color of paint. Now we're gonna be painting this a black color, kind of act as a racing stripe. Now when using Pactra's line of metallic paints, like the metallic blue right here, the key part of it is the second part of the process, and that is backing the blue color. Now depending on what color you back the blue color, you're able to get different shades of that blue. As you see here in the background, I have three different colors back there, Outlaw Black, Indie Silver, and Sprint White. Now by choosing those three colors, we're going to be able to customize the shade of metallic blue that you may want. Now, before we start, you want to make sure of a couple of things. You want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. I always like to paint outside, especially if your temperature permits. You always want to paint at ambient temperatures above 70 degrees to get the best paint adhesion. Now, other things you want to keep in mind, you do want to have a dust mask or some sort of mask for your personal safety. Breathing in particles can be dangerous, and you definitely want to protect yourself and others around you. Now, another thing you want to do is you definitely want to give your can a good shot shaking, uh, just simply shaking it to hear the can rattle. And you wanna do that for about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that all the paint molecules inside of the can are ready to paint. All right, so let's start painting. Uh, the first thing I do is I like to just give it a, a quick little test squirt, uh, just to make sure that everything is, is working correctly and that we're ready to paint. Now the first coat is probably the most important one. You wanna make sure that you have a very thin coat of paint on that first shot, uh, just to give the paint on the following coats, something to adhere to a little bit better than just the uh, completely flat Lexan body. So we're gonna go ahead and start painting and you wanna make sure you do clean sweeps all the way through past the area that you're painting. You wanna stay about 10 to 12 inches away from the painting surface. All right, so we've done our first coat here just a little bit. Now you're gonna notice that it is a very kind of light blue iridescence. Um, you, you're not doing anything wrong. That's exactly how the metallic paints are. They're kind of like a first stage to the backer coat. Remember that we're going to put on it. Now, all right, coat two. Now on to coat three. Now this is the final coat of the blue that we're going to do. And I like to go ahead and pick up the body, look through some clearness to just make sure I'm getting all of the clear completely sprayed with the blue now. Keeping in mind all of those nook and cranny areas like right here where these little vents are, making sure that's all fully covered with the blue. All right, now that we're done, we put three coats of the metallic blue on. You just wanna give it a once over, make sure that there's no inconsistencies in the spray, making sure that you have no clear spots. Keep in mind, once again, all these little areas here where there's nooks and crannies, 
making sure you got a good even coat. Now, it's still gonna be see-through. You're gonna be able to still see things through it, but with the backers, you're gonna be able to customize that color of blue that you get. So we went ahead and applied three coats of that metallic blue to the body over here. And I went ahead and made a little test strip for you guys, just so you can see the flexibility of the Pactra metallic paints. Now, right here, you're noticing this is the backside. I've painted it with a, a black backer, a silver backer, a white backer, and this is just the clear one, so, or just the blue. With this, I put two coats of the blue. Now, if you remember on the body, I did three coats of that metallic blue. Now, if we flip this over, you can see just how flexible that paint is. I mean, anywhere from a deep, dark, super midnight blue right here, which is very, very dark, to kind of like a medium blue, almost like a, a sky blue right there. And then here's the iridescence of just two coats of that metallic blue. So depending on how many coats of the metallic paint you use and which backer you use, you can really customize the color of metallic paint that you get in the end. So it's been about a day. I let all of the metallic blue completely dry 100%. I went ahead and I peeled the masking that was on these two racing stripes up here because we are gonna go ahead and back the metallic blue with some outlaw black. That will give us not only the racing stripes up here, but it'll turn this metallic blue into a dark kind of midnight blue, which should be pretty cool. All right, so we're back outside. We're ready to put on some Outlaw Black and turn this thing into some good color. As far as the racing stripes there, we are gonna keep in mind that it's gonna be the first coat onto that clear Lexan. So we wanna make sure and do a light coat on that, but we can pretty much do a good coat on the rest of the body. <laughs> All right, coat two of Outlaw Black. All right, so I went ahead and let everything dry for a good day now. I've already peeled off the window mask from the inside. One of the most important things is to make sure and peel off the overspray film. Now the overspray film prevents exactly that, overspray from coming from inside of the body to the exterior of the body while you're spraying. There's been some black that has kind of uh, leaked out from underneath as I was spraying and, and hit onto the overspray film. So a simple removal of that and we can take a look at what we really have. All right, well, there's the final product. Overspray film is off. You can really see how deep and dark that metallic blue turned out by using the Outlaw Black backer on it. You can also see the racing stripes up here on the hood. You'll notice that they're flat and that'll be in a future episode, so stay tuned for that. But overall, really pleased with how everything turned out. You can really see uh, how beautiful and rich the metallic paint is. Camera just does not do it justice. You have to see it in person. In the sun, it's even better. Well, also another thing to point out uh, when you're doing RC bodies, typically you'll get a decal sheet, which definitely gets you some pretty cool little items on here just to uh, make it your own, dress it up the way you like it. Right here we have window uh, decals and fans and tail lights and everything else to really make your body stand out and look good in some good Pactra paint. Well guys, that's it for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post it on down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over and out